Kia ora, Chrissy back again, and we are going to get into the next episode of Star Wars Rebels. Like, comment, and subscribe, please. So last time we had the pilot, the two-parter, Spark of Rebellion, introducing us to Ezra, who is going to be our main protagonist, I am guessing, um, as well as the crew of the Ghost, Kanan, former Jedi. Hera, she's our Twi'lek, she was the pilot. Sabine, I'm guessing, is a Mandalorian. Chopper, our droid, and Zeb, who I don't I can't remember what kind of species he is, but Zeb, him and Ezra are having a, a bit of a contentious relationship. But Ezra has joined the crew, uh, and I guess we're going to go from there. I had seen the previous uh, two episodes before, uh, but going forward, I have not seen these, so this will be interesting. So we're going to get into the next episode, Season 1, Episode 3, Droids in Distress. And I can see on the thumbnail, I really hope that's not C-3PO. Let's do it. We need to make some money or we might as well put the ghost in storage. There's always Vizago's job. Oh, so we're arms dealers again. More like arms redistributors. <laughs> If it puts food on the table and frees up some time for, oh, I don't know, Jedi training, then I'm in. Okay. <laughs> Say I am. What then? I already know the mission. Let's head to the spaceport. Okay. So I didn't actually get an answer. How rude. This way. <laughs> Kanan and Hera. Are they a thing? More bad you warm. Where is that translator? <laughs> oh, it was! Oh, no. Oh, it's R2 as well. That's all good. I don't know. I just find C3PO really annoying. Yeah, it's annoying. Will you cut it out? You have plenty of room. Stop crowding me. Oh. Hey, pilot. Isn't there some rule against droids in the passenger area? I am sorry, sir. Your astromech must proceed to the back. If my astromech's banished, then those two astromechs are banished too. I am on Imperial business. Sorry, ma'am, but these are Imperial regulations. <laughs> Go! Oh, this is so humiliating. I have more bug you want. I'm sorry, Mr. Wobbo. I, I don't understand you. Hello. <laughs> Hello. My ward here is quite fluent. Oh, I She's would pretty. never presume. Though, it would be good practice for my level 5 exams at the Imperial Academy. You're a level 5 Academy student? I was too, once upon a time. The odds of our mission becoming a complete debacle. Thank you, R2. Hardly matters to you what they're saying. <laughs> well, <what? laughs> Here is an astromech who understands etiquette. You could learn a lot from this old C-110P. If there's any droid in the whole galaxy you don't want to be saying that to, it's R2. We are approaching Garel. Please prepare for landing. My dear, you did great service to your empire today. Now focus on those level fives. Oh, I will, Minister. It's been such an honor. Thank you. <clears throat> Laying it on thick there, love. Bay 7. Kenan, I thought you were going to teach me Jedi stuff. So far, all I'm doing is thieving. And I already knew how to do that. It's still annoying to me, but I'm sure he'll grow on me. Nice. Whoa, oh, jeez, mate. <laughs> oh, a bit quieter. Okay, I'm in base seven. Fuck. <laughs> well, kid, you pull 
not at all. He's good. Was there ever any doubt? Yes. <laughs> Jeez. Do we know what exactly the Zago has us stealing yet? Uh oh. Carapace. Whoa, they're T7 ion disruptors. These were banned by the Senate. You can short circuit an entire ship with these. That's not why they were banned. He looks really worried by that. Apparently, the cargo is in phase seven. So Amdo Babo wonders why we are here. The girl told me 17. In Aquilish, a translator can easily confuse seven with 17 if she is an amateur. Well, take us to phase seven. Well, well stall them. Oh! I... Chopper, you're a, you're a star, mate. Wait to base seven, double time. Whoa. You tried, mate. You tried. Amda Wabo says those crates contain his disruptors. Can't possibly be disruptors in there because they're illegal, right? Forward. <laughs> Well, that was easy. You want disruptors? You gotta come through me. Try to shoot me. Come sometimes, sometimes the way that they portray stormtroopers as being really bad shots, sometimes it's just too much. How could not one of them hit him when they were standing around him in a circle? You know, it's like, come on. Arthur, where do you think you're going? I think, um, Corridor, Corridor Crew, I think, I can't remember if that's their name, Corridor. They did a, they did a video of, you know, if Stormtroopers were accurate. It's pretty funny. Going. I am C-3PO and this is my counterpart, R2-D2. I was translating for Minister Chuo when we were attacked by thieves like, uh, Kanan, a word. Can it wait? If Those disruptors of uh. have done all this for nothing. Yeah, about that. Maybe this time we don't sell to the Zago, eh? Maybe we get those disruptors out of circulation. Yeah. I found out they were shipping those T7s as prototypes, so the Empire could mass produce them on Lothal. Atu's getting all of this too. If we need credits, maybe the Zago will buy those two droids. Yeah, good idea. He really wants those disruptors out of out of commission. There's a story. There's a story behind that. An adult male, a juvenile male, a juvenile female, an old C1 droid, and a Lassart. Oh, it's this Lassart. That's it. I didn't think there were any Lassarts left. A few, Minister. Only a few. Okay, this has got to do with the disruptors, right? You can't do that! It's my cabin too! Ezra, come in here. Hera's gonna set him straight. She knows. Do you know what a T7 disruptor is? What it does to an organic being? Uh, no. Well, Zeb knows. Because it's what the Imperials used on his people when they cleared his home world. Wow. I guess I could cut him a little slack. Good man. So, how's the Jedi training going with Kanan? Jedi training? Never heard of it. <laughs> we'll see about that. Home sweet home. I don't trust this, this guy. Not at all. Can we discuss this later? That's fine, love. But we will discuss it. Oh, right. This R2 says its real mission was to make sure the T7s never reached the Empire, and that his master will pay handsomely for their return. I'll think about it. This is T3PO, human cyborg relations. Remain calm, my friend. All I need is your location. <sighs> was that planned, or was that really C3PO doing that? I can make some beautiful music with these. They're not that kind of instrument. No. Oh shit. You were fatal. That's not possible. Tell it to the Empire. Okay, so it really was C3PO doing that on his own. My friends, 
I hope you live to bargain another day. And if you don't... <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> we can't let these disruptors fall into Imperial hands. Sabine, destroy the guns. Ha, now you're speaking my language. What are you doing? <laughs> of course. Overload the disruptors and boom. Good call, little guy. For someone as smart as C-3PO, you'd think you'd, you know kind of believe in R2-D2 here. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, of course. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I knew some form of rescue would arrive. I told R2, but he thinks so ill of Stormtroopers. Wait, don't shoot, don't shoot! Me. You're a fucking moron, uh, uh, C-3PO. Seriously. <laughs> you, Massage. Face me! I guess that's... War. Only the honor guard of the sun may carry a bow rifle. I know. <laughs> I removed it from a guardsman myself. Yeah, I thought so. So it's called a bow rifle. Does it shoot as well? You fear those disruptors. I gave the order to use them. Piss him off and get him off his game. Fuck, he's good. They're both good. Whoa. Oh! Dude! Don't do it, Ezra! Ugh. Oh, he already knows. He already knows anyway, so it's alright. Will our torment never end? Chopper, get us out of here! Be okay. Uh, yeah. You got your ass handed to you, mate. Thanks, mate. Appreciate the save. It wasn't him. It was Ezra. <laughs> <laughs> These two. It's gonna take a while. I love that music, by the way. And Ezra, your formal Jedi training starts tomorrow. You know, they have that grizzled relationship, but they'll get closer, and you know, you know how it goes. That's very generous, sir. Well, I'm oh, sorry. Bail! The simplest gesture of kindness can fill a galaxy with hope. Isn't that a Jedi saying? Safe travels, my friend. This entire ordeal has rather stressed every one of my circuits. Permission to shut down? Yes, granted. <laughs> you everything, old friend. Good. Always reliable, R2. Show me what you have on your rebels. <laughs> hey, oh, oh, come on! <laughs> I love that. That was good. Um, oh, I know. I mean, I'm pretty sure, right? That that R2 was oh not R2. Um, C3PO is like a fan favorite. I, <sighs> frustrates me. It's just like Jar Jar. Frust frustrates me just like Jar Jar. Jar Jar frustrates me more, but C3PO is right up there. Uh, this is good. So. Ezra is going to start his formal training. Cool. This Callus, I guess he's going to be like the season's um, antagonist because I'm pretty sure I know in Rebels we get introduced to Thrawn, which I've heard his name. I know what he looks like. He's a chiss. I love the chiss. Um, so I don't know how long I've got to he comes on the scene. Uh, but Thrawn and, well, this Callus, there's only, what, four seasons of the series, so I guess they're, like, the, the big bads for this show? I don't know. But I guess we'll find out. But this was good. It was a very simple episode. Uh, there's nothing too much to go on about. Um, but you do get to see, like, a little bit of Zeb and Ezra's kind of relationship becoming not so, uh, fractious. 
<laughs> okay well we're gonna leave it there for today thanks for joining with me don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time for more rebels yeah <laughs>